If you've got a business, make sure you're deducting mileage logs. They haven't come out yet with the 2022. Here's what the mileage rates are. Personally, I think that those will go up. Considering the price of cars has gone up astronomically and the price of gas has gone up, I'm anticipating more than 56 cents per mile next year, but the IRS hasn't published those rates yet, so at least be doing your mileage log and taking advantage of every every business trip that you've made. Now is a good time to be catching up on your mileage log. I, I look at December as kind of my catch-up month for taxes. So, and make sure you're deducting your cell phone. The IRS says that you can if you if your business requires you to have a cell phone and I don't know many businesses that don't, then you can deduct not only the cell phone itself when you buy a cell phone, but the repairs, the maintenance, the, the, the annual or the monthly cell phone bills, anything related to that and your internet, I deduct out of the business. And then look at home office expenses, if, that's, if that makes sense. If, if you've got, let's say, 12% of your overall rent are 12 percent of the, the house that you live in whether you rent or whether you own is irrelevant if 12 or 15 or 18 percent is exclusively used for business then i can deduct that 12 or 18 or 15 percent of my mortgage my property taxes homeowners insurance repairs maintenance um, rent landscaping any of those things that this is and that you notice i'm giving you the irs publications so that you can um, look them up if you want. See how these principles apply to you. I hope that you will do that. I'm, I've tried to make it easy as I can for you. Um, if you've got a business and you've got kids or grandkids and you're going to pay them anyway, don't um, pay them out of the business. Remember, they won't pay taxes up to 12600 or at least income taxes up to $12,600 if they're under 18 or if they're over 18 full-time students. Remember the rules. Make, make sure that you're maximizing these things. We can pay them for, uh, get creative and find things that, that, that your kids and grandkids can do to help your business. Shift income out of your higher tax brackets into their non-existent tax brackets. It's a wonderful tax strategy that business people have used for years and years and years, and there's no reason to leave that money sitting on the table. And then finally, um, look at, um, I, I like to look at IRS publication 535 and look at employee benefit programs. If you've got a life insurance policy, just do a group policy. It's two, it, you need two people to be a group and buy your life insurance through a group policy. Look for, look for things that, em, employee benefit plans that, that, that you're using anyway, um, but call it a business expense. A, a, lot of the, a lot of tax planning to me is simply being aware that Whatever you're, look, if you're not going to spend it, don't spend it. But if you are, let's, let's find ways to make this business deductions. You have to be reasonable in what you do. You have to, the expense needs to be customary. It needs to be ordinary. It needs to be necessary for your business. Now is also a good time if you, if have, if you have extra money in your, in your business Now's a good time maybe to do a business trip and do some business planning. My wife and I just got back from San Francisco. Is all of that a tax deduction? Well, not the theater, but you know, somewhat, but yes. Did we do have a planning meeting? Did we discuss business? What was the purpose? Was It was to get away from the normal life and, and think about our business. So look for ways to, again, accelerate expenses, look for ways to re maximize every business deduction you possibly can, defer income whenever you can, 
December is a critical, critical month for tax savings. I hope you take advantage of that.